This video will guide you through the installation process for Tempur-Pedic's Ergo Smart Bases powered by Sleep Tracker AI. Let's start with the most involved, the Split King installation. Each half of the Split King base, which comes in these configurations, comes with its own pre-installed Sleep Tracker processor. Leaving both connected as is will confuse the Sleep Tracker app and prevent the app from working. So we need to reroute the sensors to make sure they're both plugged into the same processor. Here's how. First, we'll set up the bases. Identify the head and foot of each base and ensure that they're oriented correctly. The logo is located on the foot end of each base. As you stand at the foot of the bed, the left base is the primary base and the right base is the secondary base. Next, remove the packaged components and mattress retainer bars from the underside of the frame. Be careful not to mix up the components from each base. Knowing which is which will be important later. Then, screw the legs into the base. Be sure not to over-tighten. Locate and dispose of the QR code sheet from the secondary base. That's the base on your right as you're standing at the foot of the bed. Why? Because the secondary base is the side with the sleep tracker processor we're disconnecting during this installation. The QR code from this side only connects to this processor, which will not work after the installation. If you get rid of it now, you'll prevent confusion later. Next, locate the QR code sheet from the primary base. That's the base on your left as you stand at the foot of the bed. Set it aside for later. As you might have guessed, the primary base is the side with the sleep tracker processor that will remain connected throughout the installation. The customer will need this QR code later in order to connect to the correct processor. Finally, set the bases up on their sides with the undersides facing each other. Next, we'll sync the controls for the two bases. In order for the Sleep Tracker app to function, the controls of both bases must be connected. The customer will regain individual control of each base when they connect their Sleep Tracker app. You can pick either base to start with. Untie the black battery backup module, then disconnect it from the white Sleep Tracker smart cable. Plug the sync cable, which you'll find in the electronics bag, into the Sleep Tracker smart cable. It goes in the port where the battery backup module was just removed. Just so you know, there are sync cables in each electronics bag, but you'll only use one. If you run into difficulty, just align the notches on the cable and the port. Finally, plug the loose battery backup module into the extra lead on the sync cable. Using the other end of that sync cable in your hand, repeat the process on the opposite base. Untie and disconnect the battery backup module, plug in the sync cable, and reconnect the battery backup module to the sync cable. Next, we'll connect the power supplies located in the electronics bag. To start, untie the bundled power supply cables attached to the activated carbon pouch near the head of each base. Remove and discard all carbon pouches. Then, just connect the power supply cables to the power supplies. Working together, place both bases up on their legs. Once the bases are upright, install the connector strips that hold the bases together. These will be installed at both the head and foot ends of the base. Start by slightly loosening the center legs to allow the strip to fit between the leg and the frame. Slide the connector strip onto the leg bolts, then secure the strip by shifting it to the left. Retighten the legs, but don't over-tighten. Next, install the mattress retainer bars. Then you can plug both power supplies into a surge protector connected to a power source. The LEDs under the bed will blink. Next, we'll place the sleep tracker sensors. Using the remote, move the heads of both bases into their full upright position. Then, move to the head of the base and untie the sleep tracker sensors attached near the head of each base. Insert the sensor, white tape side towards you, into the pocket at the head of the base, secure with the Velcro straps. This is important. Each sensor should be pushed all the way into the pocket on the top surface of the base, not halfway in or under the Velcro strap on the edge of the base. 
The connector of the cable should be tucked into the pocket and no part of the sensor should be visible. Next, we're going to disconnect and bypass the secondary sleep tracker processor we mentioned earlier. On the secondary base, that's now on the left since you're standing at the head of the bed, disconnect the USB from the white sleep tracker processor. It'll stay disconnected. This keeps the secondary processor from broadcasting a Wi-Fi signal and confusing the app. Still on the secondary base, disconnect the black sleep tracker sensor wire from the white sleep tracker processor. Free the excess black sleep tracker sensor wire from the rubber conduit and run it under the frame towards the primary base, on the right side as you stand at the head of the bed. Then, just connect the sensor wire to the open port on the white sleep tracker processor on the primary base. Secure any excess sensor wire in the rubber conduits. Confirm that the LED on the primary base's white sleep tracker processor is blinking green. This may take a minute or so. This light indicates that the processor is powered up and ready to connect to a Wi-Fi network. At this point, the customer just needs to connect to the sleep tracker app. Hand the customer the primary base QR code sheet you set aside earlier. Do not give the customer the secondary base QR code, which you should have disposed of earlier. Since you just disconnected the sensors from the secondary base processor, the customer will not be able to connect correctly if they use the secondary base QR code. Inform the customer that they will need to scan the QR code on this card. To complete their smart base setup, the customer will need to download the Sleep Tracker app and follow the in-app prompts. Once they've connected their app, it will allow them to access the full functionality of their new Ergo smart base.